So today I'm going to be making my rabbit's treat day specialty, which is just basically a rabbit salad. Um, so I'll tell you the ingredients after this, but I do want to mention if you think I don't really know anything about rabbits, I actually have had, I think, eight rabbits, all very healthy, except for one who actually died of a um, baby in her stomach, so that was very happy but it obviously was not my fault but um yeah I just want to start off by showing you my rabbit pepper and sorry the little cage is a little messy but if you do want like me to show you how I clean this cage I will have that if you really want me to and so he's actually the perfect weight even though he looks a little bit chubby I still kind of call him chubby anyways he just needed to lose a pound or two and he did so I'll just show you about his um his pellets after this food wise is any type of fruit that you want. I'm using some dried apple apricots um, just because that's what he really likes and they're just um, they're really healthy so I thought I'd just give him one or two fruits just to make him happy and um, fruits are not good to eat every day. Um, I also gave him an apple so these are just the only two fruits in here just because fruits aren't that um, they don't really go with their stomach if they eat too much so they do get diarrhea. Also I need to need the veg vegetables of your choice. I'm using romaine lettuce which he eats every day. Carrot which he also eats every day. I'm going to be using a cheesy bit of green pepper with no seeds. Last two things are unsalted almonds and I'm just going to be using like one or two. And I'm also going to be using some rolled oats. Just remember that this is not something you should be giving them every day because um, this is basically an incorporation of all the foods that are basically treats except for, you know, the common foods like these two things, you know, like that. And maybe like an apple slice once a day or something is good, but you never want to give them this stuff every day. I mean, I personally don't. He does have a very sensitive stomach, so it doesn't really work out. Supplies you're going to need is one mixing bowl, one knife, his, you see, um, one serving bowl, which I put the lettuce in, a measuring cup, which is optional, but I like to know what he's eating, and some measuring spoons, because I don't want to put too much of anything in there, and um, this is also optional, which is a peeler, and the last thing you're, um, you're probably going to need is a cutting board choosing to do first is take my already washed pepper as you can tell and I'm just going to cut a little bit of it off and I can't really cut it because I'm holding the camera but um so I'm just going to dice a little of this into this bowl here. I'm using approximately two tablespoons of green peppers. Now I'm going to make take my car carrot, wash it and peel it. Now I'm just going to cut up the apple, so yay apples. This is about half a cup of apple slices, wait, wait is it half? I don't, yes it's half. So we're just going to put it in here, wait. And as you can see, I kind of put some carrot strings on here, but these are like after I peeled the gross skin off, so it came from this, even though it doesn't really match, wait, does it, kind of, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to take about maybe a tablespoon of almonds, and I'm going to crush them up with this. First of all, um, I changed my mind about the one tablespoon 
And I know there's going to be a lot of controversy whether if rabbits can eat almonds or not. And I just um, spoke to my vet, vet and they said as long as they don't have them a lot because bitter almonds have a poison in them. So, ooh. so you just want to only use a little. So just using that much and that's like a, a teaspoon. Actually it looks a little bit more than a teaspoon. So, um, I don't know, so you can really choose if you want to, but please don't, like, be yelling at me, um, unless something happened to your rabbit and then you know it was due to almonds, but I don't think I'm going to have any problems with almonds. I'm taking about, ooh, what was this? What is this? Oh. Okay, so I'm taking about two pieces of dried peaches, and I'm just going to, you know, cut them up. So just into strips, because you don't want everything to be chopped up. So just like that, and I'm just going to put them in. They're a little sticky. Ooh. So the last thing we're going to put into our mix is lettuce. After washing and drying, you're just going to want to chop it up into, I would say strips, because that's the way um, I give it to them in like a salad because I like to think of it as he's eating a real human salad. So I'm just going to chop once more on the side. And it's a little bit of a messy chop, but I'm going to apply it into my bowl. For this mixture, as you can see, I'm, all the toppings are at the bottom, but I'm just going to mix this with two spoons, which I forgot to mention in the beginning. After you think it's mixed well enough, you're just going to take this, the dish that you uh, I was talking about before and you're just going to pour everything in and try to pour if you can the lettuce in first because a lot of times everything still goes back to the bottom and we want to keep everything on top as fresh as it can be because obviously the topping for the stuff that might he might not eat as fast because he's not he doesn't get this stuff a lot so I'm just trying to take everything to the top and you probably can't see what I'm doing but I will show you. This is what it looks like so far and it looks really fancy I have to admit myself but so I'm going to take about a teaspoon or half a tablespoon whichever one you want to do and I'm just going to garnish it with this. Because oats are very good for them. So, that is my um, snack diet. Take it to them. Pepper! Come here, my little chunky boy. Want a snack? Come here, you want a snack? Let's see how he likes it. Oh, and for his food, he actually does need it to be filled up. I give him about a fourth of a cup. Of food and this is actually not a fourth of a cup I just measured but so I have to put in a little bit more. So he actually got mad at me and he wouldn't eat it so the floor is disgusting I'm sorry I know but it's actually really clean so like it's just a little cedar on it and not cedar sorry like aspen no not aspen the good one so um you're probably wondering where his water bottle is it's just in the fridge It's actually in the freezer, but it just stays in the freezer for like 20 minutes to get cold. I always feel the tip to make sure it's cold. Because you know what a cold drink tastes like. If you have any recommendations for me, um, I will certainly read them in the comments below. And also, I do have another hamster. I have a hamster. Um, I've had a guinea pig, so I know a lot. And I have a dog and a cat, so I have a lot of... Thing, different videos I can make and I'll, I'll make some on dogs. Wait, where is she? Maddie, say hi! Maddie, say hi! No, she's being lazy, but I'm sorry. So, make sure you like this video. Um, comment. I really like comments, so I will always read them and respond. And subscribe. Thanks. Bye.